I've worked in uh, many conflict areas around the world, including Chechnya, Uzbekistan, Haiti, Zimbabwe, you name it. I've probably been there. Uh, and uh, in many of these areas, governments are trying to shield their behavior, their abuses from the outside world. But I have to say what's happening in Sri Lanka is unprecedented in this regard. Uh, the cynical and unfortunately largely successful campaign of the Sri Lankan government to block the conflict area from any kind of outside scrutiny is simply appalling. And you have to keep in mind that it's uh, the situation where local journalists and uh, civil society activists do not talk uh, out of fear because many of them have been killed or attacked and others had to leave the country. And international journalists are simply barred from uh, getting anywhere near the conflict area, from talking to uh, any of the internally displaced who managed to escape from the conflict area. And uh, in this type of situation, the obvious question is, what does the government, uh, what is the government hiding? Uh, what is behind it? What is behind this uh, enormous effort to make sure that no information gets out and nobody gets in to see what's happening?